Good Saturday morning, everybody. I'm headed to a sports car show. This time with a little bit of purpose. Uh, you know, going to a sports car show, of course, you want to go for a for the cards, uh, the atmosphere, uh, see people in the hobby, uh, learn what's or look at and see what's selling, um, and what's not selling more than anything else. Reason I really need to go to this show is that the Raleigh Sports Card Show today, and I, I don't know if they'll be there tomorrow, is JSA, uh, which is a authenticator. Uh, I was able to get my hands on a couple of things that I need to get looked at. Um, I did my best uh, to look at them, uh, tried to compare some signatures to some known signatures that were good uh, by JSA authenticator already. Um, so I think it's worth the price to have them authenticated uh, again, or not again, but uh, get them authenticated. Uh, they came in little cases with uh, the players' names on them, and um, but they didn't have no, you know, certificate or anything like that. Uh, I've seen, I saw other examples of the exact same thing, same, you know, case, same, uh, you know, plaque carrier, all that good stuff. Um, but you know, again, you can't be a hundred percent sure. And with the disparities between authenticated and not authenticated, the price disparity, uh, I really think it's worth the, the price to get them looked at and authenticated. So by this time, you're probably wondering, you know, Paul, what are you talking about? Why don't you just tell us who it is? I will. First baseball that I want to get looked at, tell me if you know who that is. We'll put a focus on it. So supposedly, uh, what the plaque said, that is Nolan Ryan. It looks very, very similar to some uh, authenticated ones that I saw on eBay and uh, on JSA itself um, and, and some other, you know, stores and, and, and people who sell authenticated signatures, you know, buy reputable, uh, we'll talk about that in a minute, but buy reputable uh, authenticators. So uh, I, I'm real confident that that is a real Nolan Ryan. Now, uh, I'll show you the price dis uh, differences between one that's uh, not authenticated. So if you look here, um, here are some prices of ones that are not, uh, don't have a, any type of certificate from a reputable um, authenticator. And here are some prices from a reputable authenticator, um, like JSA and other ones like that. So you can see that the price disparity there is um, a little bit, uh, you know, I think it's worth trying to make sure that it's authentic. authentic. And the second one, uh, I don't know if the camera will focus on it, but that is supposed to be Hank Aaron's signature. Again, so look at the differences between ones that are authentic and then the ones that are not authenticated or don't have a COA from a reputable authenticator. So again, a big disparity there, especially in the Hank Aaron one, so I think it's really worth the uh, time and money it's going to take to uh, get these authenticated. So again, they both came in a uh, with a little carrier, this little plastic carrier that you can see, and then here sat in t a, a wooden base with their names uh, etched in a little uh, plaque on the front of it. Um, I'll see if I can find an example of it, or you know maybe take a picture of the one I have. I don't know, but I'll try to put it here if I remember. Um, so. I do, th and I've saw other examples in the exact same uh, way, this exact same display, things like that. So I do, I don't want to say that I'm 100% sure, but I'm pretty dang sure that these are both real. So uh, I did, in the same lot, get one with the Cecil Fielder. Um, however, the, the price difference between uh, the one to get it authenticated and um, have an authenticate uh, uh, a certificate for it um the, the value just wasn't there it wasn't uh, something uh, worth to spend the money on so uh i'm gonna try to just sell that one as is without a certificate um i'm getting like 20 or 20 to 15 uh, maybe even 30 dollars less than if i did get it i'm pretty sure the price to get it authenticated uh, i know what it is on the website um however i've heard two different things of whether it's the same price at the show um uh, versus on the website because at the show uh, I guess you could um, there's a couple different ways you could do it you could submit it there they take it back with them and then you get it back later or um, they can do it right then and there so uh, I, I want to wait till I get to the show to uh, 
uh, actually see the price now if uh, to see the prices and decide how I'm gonna do it am I going to um, you know let them take it with them and then send it back to me later or if I'm uh, if the price to have it just walk through you know to, to have them authenticated right then and there um, is the same now again I don't know I've never done this before I've never had it, anything authenticated uh, like this before uh, I've never had anything authenticated at a show or even sent anything in so I don't really know how this works so we're going to experience that together while we drive let's talk about what it means to have a reputable authenticator look at your items there are many people out there when they sell autographed items will claim that they have a COA a certificate of authenticity well what does that mean well what that means is that it's a certificate and it basically you know says that whatever autograph or signature is on the uh, item whatever type of item it is is authentic somebody looked at it who you know says yep that's a signature yep that's that person's signature um P psa does it beckett does it uh, i don't think sgc does it there are many of the card companies that do the card authenticating or signature authenticating excuse me but the coa is only as good as the people who are authenticating it. I'll give you I'll give you a case in point personal experience. Uh, many many years ago, uh, Tim Duncan's second year. Uh, Tim Duncan played uh, college ball at Wake Forest, which is uh, very close to where I was living at at the time. And the ACC uh, tournament was in um, in a town called Greensboro. Been there, it's been there many many times. Uh, they always have some type of like fan thing where you can go and do you know certain things and there's always former college players from one of the ACC schools signing autographs. I personally got a Tim Duncan uh, autograph in person on a promotional card. Um, it, you know, I stood in line, don't remember how long it was. Uh, I, was I, I think I was a senior in high school still, so that was more than 20 years ago, um, and got a signature. Well, fast forward to last year sometime no maybe the year before i can't remember um i was on a auction site not ebay different one and found a uh basketball mini basketball uh that was autograph that they were claiming was autographed by him um first clue that i should have had uh, about it about the ball probably not being authentic was that the picture was not really clear it was kind of shot from the side angle um, and all that but then it you know says oh it comes with the you know certificate of authenticity and all this stuff uh, well I bought it and kind of think it like you know this may not work out but at the price and I paid 10 bucks plus the shipping to have it to, to get it that also should have told me something too but anyway so I get it and I start comparing the card that I have with the signature on this basketball and a lot of lot a lot of red flags come up. But I'm like, well, wait a minute, it's got a certificate of authenticity, so um, this you know it, it should be okay. Or it, you know, it's 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 good. Well, I say all this to tell you this. When you see something that says it has a certificate of authenticity, do your research. Um, I don't remember the name of the company that certified the autograph. But I started looking into it, and I started looking at forum boards, posted boards. They're kind of like discords and things like that. And there were a lot of questions about the, this that company's, uh, you know, reputation, uh, who was doing the authentication, and things like that. Um, luckily, uh, because it was ran through an auction website, um, I was able to force the seller to take it back and refund my money. So, all that to say, make sure when you're getting stuff authenticated, uh, if you're buying authenticated items, autographed items, whether it's sports, you know, movie stars, TV stars, you know, musicians or whatever it is, you know, unless you're personally, you know, getting the auto, you know, autograph yourself, make sure you're buying something that has a company that stands behind whatever it is. Uh, JSA is one of the top ones. Uh, of course, you know, you can do Beckett. Beckett has their own. Um, uh, I think PSA does as well, uh, but as far as like memorabilia, things like that, uh, JSA seems to be the most reputable one.
I didn't know what to write on. Okay. Hank Aaron ball and Nolan Ryan off top of your head. Both on the same ball? No. Uh, 40 and 20. I'm expecting. Ready that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm sorry. I didn't know that. I, I, I tried to check the website. That's all right. We'll get you. Let me pull off the top part here. We need, we okay. need like the carbon copy. Oh, right. I'm sorry. That's what they emailed me, so. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I don't know if that's not. Putting 9 a.m. on all these takers. I am too. <laughs> I, I, I'll say I can too. How you want to pay for that? Cash, okay. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Okay. We'd prefer that to not have to run a credit card. All right. So, 60, yeah, 60 bucks. 50. Now, how does this work? I just come back in an hour yeah, or two? Uh, normally it would say an hour. We're not even started yet. We've been just been taking it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's probably yeah. closer to two, maybe three. Okay. So. Now, I've never done this before, so I'm just trying to figure it yeah, all out. Yeah, it's uh, depending on how big okay. we are. Thank you. Yep, thank you, guys. Oh, gee. You know anywhere where... Um, Well, I'm an 
NC State fan, so yeah. we're, I'm happy. Yeah. We're, we're the baseball team is doing well. Oh, yeah, it's a great one. Totally got, I'm a teacher, two of the guys I work with. So, where are you teaching? I'm actually not from Charlie. Well, yeah. I think I'm a handful. Just this year. That's good. Yeah, we got Charlie. Yeah, I guess they had problems with that venue down there or something. Yeah, I remember actually down there. I went there one time and then the one that saw the bear pretty close. Yeah. That was last weekend. I wasn't able to go up to the well, good, good luck. You should. I'm here. If you have anything to look at, hey, we got to, you know, I'll be. No I'll problem. I'll have to look at my table here in a second. I'll be back.